Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Tainted Grail Conquest. Uh, we're in the weirdness, I guess. I don't... I'm, I'm assuming the green stuff's good? I'm assuming? Please tell me it's good. Please tell me it's good. Please tell me it's good. That's not good. There's no way in hell that's good. Oh, no. These are bad. Faith healer. This enemy can heal allies. This enemy can stronger than every hit it suffers. This enemy can create barriers to protect allies. Ah, oh, this is a bad place. Hmm. This is, in fact, perhaps the worst place. Uh, I, uh, I guess we should go for the healer. I mean, the barrier guy's probably gonna jump in, though. This enemy can heal us out. Oh, gross. Alright, so he's gonna do that, so we're fine. We don't have a block, though, which is not cool. Um, let's hit you. Let's hit. Let's do that. Let's do this. Alright, then he can't heal that. Oh, this is gonna, this, this is going to hurt us. Like, we're gonna take a few. We're gonna take a few hits in this one, so let's block. Let's, I just need to, honestly, I need to get him out of here, so let's just get him out of here as fast as possible. Because if we can just, if we can get rid of him, then we can just focus on blocking. There we go. All right, so now we can block, and let's do a, let's do an overhead swing on this boy. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, deranged red priest, I don't know what that means, but uh, you look like you're going to be a problem for me. Not playing that, no matter what. Not doing it. Uh, let's do, oh, I don't have a, I could do that. Next turn, lose one energy. If not playing next turn, lose 25% of your current HP. What kind of nonsense is that? Why? Ugh. That's so gross of you to do that to me. Mm. Man, whatever. I guess we'll play this. I, I guess we'll... Ugh, I guess we'll play this. Gross. They're gonna lose our health for no good reason either. Oh, but we gained because of Slow Thinker. We got... Uh, we're gonna do huge damage. So... You know what? Boom. Let's do that. And then let's do some of that. And then let's take the hit we're gonna take. Let's do... Uh, right, one block. One of these. And then... One of these, and then we'll block his attacks. Now we just have to deal with them. We got rid of all the special boys, uh, so that is not an issue. One block to deal with now, and then we'll just hit him. It doesn't matter how much damage he can do because we have a block for it. Boom, then blocked. We do not have to increase armor by 50, if not draw less cards, alright, whatever. Next turn, there's one energy, and then I guess let's do that. But our slow thinker should engage because of that, theoretically. We only played two cards. Uh, yeah, let's do. Let's do this. And then, yeah, let's do that. Boom! Ooh, that's a good hit. Alright, okay, we're gonna get hit too, but. Uh, we block out there. Let's do this. That should kill him. Nope, not quite. But this will. Oh, yes, we cleared it. Got some more weird stones. All right, so maybe... Oh, all right. Raging Blade. Cost to discard your hand and deal zero hits for 50% damage. One hit for each card discarded. Okay. So if you had, like, five cards in your hand... you do 50% of your base damage. Gain one energy, lose 25% damage. I mean, that's not bad because yeah, that would just give you some stuff. Random attack, deal one hit for a bunch of damage to a random enemy, stun a random enemy, reduce random enemy's armor by... Is that per thing though? To a random enemy, stun a random... So yeah, actually, I kind of like that a lot. I'm gonna take that. That's just so interesting. All right, fine. What are, what are, wait, 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 hey, whoa. Uh, do I have, how do I look at my items? Oh, is burning bright. Weirdness is repelled completely. Press one to use weird, but what does it do? Wait, what? Who, the who sound are of you? clattering rocks disturbs the ubiquitous silence. Approaching the end of a path, you come upon a child playing with some oddly shaped stones. Hey, buddy, you I'm okay? Work. I'm waiting here for my mother. She's been gone for a while now. Or maybe she's going to leave soon? I have a lot of these stones, and while I wait, I play. Do you want some stones so you can play while you wait too? Sh sure. Take three random common rares. Take one specific common. Take one random rare. Um... Sure, kid, give me a rune stone. You got cracked eel. Sure, what, what? Do I have an inventory system I can look at? Uh, I. There it is. So what is this? Level one rare, in weapon slot. Every three turns, you always deal maximum damage. In armor slot, every three turns, all enemies deal minimum damage. Ooh. Now that's fancy. Weapon slot every three, they deal, you deal max. I think I want it on my defense. I think I'd rather like take, eh, but if I block, I block completely. 
Um, I mean, it would still add up, though. That's hard. That's a hard choice, actually. I think it's going to come out better on the attack end, though. All right. So then we got these. Allows you to braid the weirdness without any repercussions. Does it? Is that what that is? I guess let's drink one of these. Cool. All right. So we've got the weirdness going on. So is the understanding that if you interact with something, is this a fight then? That there was no way I could have known? What is that? Abomination mind bender. The enemy will spawn delusions of random enemies. This enemy attacks everyone on the battlefield. Oh, well then you're kind of my friend, I guess. Uh, all right, let's block. And then let's do, what is this? If not play next turn, gain five armor. Why won't that? Oh, so it's, that's a positive thing, actually. I want armor, actually. Uh, then let's do one of these, and then let's do some of uh, this boom. And we'll wait. It is their turn. We'll see that. That's cool. All right, we got that guy's great. All I gotta do is block. Have a couple blocks, and uh, nothing happened to me. Nothing happened. I like you kind of go around to like, do some animation because you're a weird and interesting creature. Uh, let's. I feel like I should do a block and then a random attack. Yeah, because I was selling them. That's perfect. That's actually, oh, that card's so good. That's a great card. That's gonna be killed now. So block, work hard, and you can't kill. Um, and then, you know, we're gonna swing on you because you guys are working on you. Sorry. And then you're gonna kill them. That's awesome. Awesome. Pretty fun. Thank you for your Pokemon. Pretty damage rolling. Uh, actually, we're sent. You know, again, that's not exactly helpful. That's not the most helpful thing in the world. You realize that, right? Uh, actually, no. Good. So, hey, buddy. Maybe I can end this? Boom. And it's over. Look at us. Earning stuff. Doing stuff. Man, I just want to play the Necromancer. I didn't know it'd be a thing I'd have to unlock. That's going to take a while. Uh, hey, what's up? The ringing sound of clashing swords grabs your attention as you walk through the weirdness. It is weird. Punch, but you find a campsite instead of a battlefield. Okay. Several men drink mead, as if nothing of note was happening around them. Others battle monsters. And something about the movement and behavior of these beasts seems strange. What? Until you notice a druid chanting something near the campfire. I'll fight something easy. I want a challenge. Hit me with all you've got. Um... Let it die. I want a challenge. This is going to bite me in the ass, isn't it? Don't hit me with everything you... Oh, what the flip-flop is that? No! No, it's horrible. It's bad. It's all bad. And I have no blocks this turn. Well, yes, we don't have feature sound, so uh, you saw me hit me great. Oh, uh, this is not a good place to be. You know, I'm actually pretty solid. What's that? Someone's trying to sound like a charm. I hate that. In fact, would you wait to say goodbye? I was going to know it's on. Wait, no, yes, no. How do I get this point? I know the giant got like turns like four places and power change and everything final. They have some weirdos. They have some weirdos, let me tell you. I don't know what's happening. Oh, I'm gonna die here. Ugh, God. Mm. Yeah, I think it is time for last resort and then just a small strike. I don't know what else to do. This is, this is troubling, friends. It's troubling, to say the least. Uh, block, block. Oh, we lost it. Oh, we lost it. Wait, wait. Ten point. Also, I think you only hit. Uh, I don't know what that is. So we just have that. For... I guess we did. I just got a target. I did not realize. Okay, that's cool. You're gonna be here. I swear to God, I was not. What are you doing? Right, you know that? Oh, you're in the sun? Oh, gross. Don't do that to me. Oh, no, you're gonna. Oh, shit, I'm gonna die. Uh, use. And. Small strikes, I believe. And I'm not sure what else to do. Oh, God. We're just buying time at this point. Um, last resort. Small strikes. Nice. Yo, I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna die here. There's a small chance uh, that we could die here, as sad as I have to say. Because I think I was on the ropes. Like, why would you do that? Mm. Last resort and small strikes. That's, that's the thing we got. I don't know what we're doing right now. Oh, because you took last resort, but damn. Damn, it's not ideal. It's really not. Stop summoning things. Stop it. Oh, we're, we're dead. This is where we die. Well, uh, let's block as much as we can. Yep, and boom. Ah, oh, we're dead. All right, maybe a challenge, Within you know. In the darkness, you hear a familiar voice. Finally, now we can start the cycle of proper rebirth. What does a that mean? voice appears out of nowhere, and its owner is nowhere to be seen. Be gone. Who is that? It is calm. Inhumanly calm. Can I invite you to the table? You see a hooded figure waiting for you by the table. A chessboard sits upon it, the game in progress. As you take the free chair, you realize the creature has no face. A white skull leers from the shadows of the hood. That's so cool. A human skeleton draped with robes. I love it. I admit, I'm not used to showing up in person whenever people die. That's too much hassle with adjusting my presence to your current imaginations and whatnot. But let's say that your case is special. 
I'm dead, you're death. You're death? Yes. And yes to that other question, too. How'd you know? You're technically dead. But there are certain things that prevent you from, let's say, being properly gone. Okay. Recent events had consequences going beyond the intentions that sparked them. What? And now we're stuck in this unfortunate predicament because time, as you know it, is irreversibly corrupted. Okay. Time got corrupted? The past and the future are happening at the same time. All that you see is an echo of things that already happened or eventually will. What? Presented without inherent sense, without purpose, without any logic. Okay. You see four figures on the board changing shapes into forms of beasts, and a moment later, they dissolve into dust. You must slay the Guardians, and keep slaying them until you reach the source conjuring them out of the weirdness. Their deaths will what? make you stronger. Okay. This will lead you to your destination. What is this? What is this, death? Oh, just what you were saying is this. Experience gained. Uh, we unlocked something. Rewards unlocked. These cards and passes will be available over the course of your next runs. Pure luck. Deal one hit for 100 damage, gain one block. That's cool. Rearrangement. Draw two cards. Their uh, cost is reduced by one. That's cool. Devastating attack. Lose all energy and deal one hit for zero damage. Damage is increased by 175 for each energy point of energy consumed. Okay. Now that's interesting. All right. So what do I... How do I... Oh, I have to click on them. Well, there you have it. These are the major objectives in the game, things you need to accomplish in order to unlock the ending. You need to find and recruit all the people who can settle in your village, so one out of seven. Find the true boss fight. There's a secret boss fight you need to unlock, and souls saved from, you need to finish quests given by all the NPCs that can be saved from the corruption. You can check who is already found and saved on the next page in your journal. Okay. Continue as the this you can stay here forever and go deeper into the weirdness to explore its mysteries uh sure let's start over i don't uh pick a blessing for your next run start with plus i don't need a blessing why would i pick that why would you pick that start with two more healing start with 200 wealth start with plus 20 max health sure give me the health why not you die and it restarts all right but I want the necromancer, please. Please give me the necromancer. I just want the necromancer. And since they're all the way over here, I feel like it's gonna be like, what do you mean when you say progression? Ah, fine. Fine. We'll play as this person again, I guess, I suppose. This is very interesting. It's very intricate. Uh for what it is, I feel like. I'm digging it. It's very much my aesthetic, and I'm loving a lot about it. Uh, but I am curious to see, so I got the weird candle. I got that, them their weird candles. Uh, I don't feel like I need to buy anything. Oh God, oh, it's weird. Better use another one. All right, fine. So what happens as I journey through the weirdness? Great. I, yep, it's gonna make me fight them. Ah, gross. You're gross. I hope you know that you're immune to stun, which is also gross, I gotta say. And let's attack. Boom. Oh, got it in the first go. Much better. So wait, did our guy like level up his base stats? Uh, Fist of Stone, deal one hit for 300 damage, reduce enemy's armor by a bunch. Uh, deal one hit for 150, return three, return. Card stays in your hand after it was played. It can be played a limited number of times in a single turn. That's pretty cool, actually. Deal two hits for 100% cleave. Cleave 
deals 20% of damage to all other enemies. Oh, now that's something. Let me tell you. It's between these two at this point. Um, Let's get Cleave. Heavy opening. First hit in combat deals double damage. Eh, that's very situational, but also unused block lasts one additional turn. Yes! Whenever you hit an enemy, reduce their armor by two until the... No, give me this. I mean, yes, that sounds cool, but also blocking expert. Block lasting between turns in these kind of games is always cool. All right, so... So what about... it's So, so what about that? What is this? Milestone. It's a mystery why these stones light up and banish the weirdness when people walk by. Hmm. Many believe Merlin himself invented the runes carved into them. There's also a darker rumor. That they were left by the four dwellers to lure humans into their domain like moths to the flame. Extinguish this milestone. Lose the milestone. Receive a weird candle. Boost the milestone's rain. Banish weirdness around this milestone. Ask for a blessing. Lose this milestone. Receive a random bonus. Heal, heal. Boost damage or boost armor for the next combat. Um, I guess let's try this first. As the flickering light of the weird candle combines with the milestone's faint radiance, the surrounding darkness is pushed even further back. Yeah, that sounds great. What is that? Treasure Guardian. That's a bunch of stuff. Boy, I don't think I need that. Is there anything else over here to look at? What is that? All Mother's Altar. Uh, a pack of enemies. I don't, I'd prefer to not to. But I kind of want to know. Ah, uh, yep, you're gonna make me fight him. Fine. Fine, I'll fight you, all of you, whatever you are. Oh, oh, it's my friend, I love him. What are you, shaman? The enemy, this enemy will spawn totems to buff its allies with various effects. Faceless hunter. Uh, this enemy will deliver more hits each turn unless it's stunned. Well, fun. Go. Goodbye, my friend. Thank you for your service. It was much appreciated. Cool. So we've leveled up. Uh, draw, draw three cards, interesting. Rapid attack, deals six hits for a third of your damage. Each hit reduces enemy's armor. Eh, deal one hit, duplicate the next card played. That's interesting. When you say duplicate, play the card again for zero. And yeah, let's do that. Let's do that, that sounds awesome. Situational, but okay, so what is the All Mother? All Mother shrines were a common sight across Avalon. Despite their grim existence, settlers were grateful to the goddess, and they had good reason to be. Okay. For every ten people who set sail for Avalon, only four would reach the island, and only one or two would survive the first year. Okay. The shrine has faint traces of power lingering in the air. A priestess materializes out of the weirdness and asks what it is that you're looking for. Uh, am I looking for healing? Ask for a blessing, get one legendary card, rob the shrine. Ew, that doesn't sound like a good idea. Do I want a legendary? I mean, a legendary card sounds awesome, but also like I could use healing. You know what? Give me the legendary Priestess card. Priestess gazes at you with a blank stare. You realize that despite her phantasmal appearance, the payment for her services must be very real indeed. I don't have, I don't have enough money. Hmm. The priestess lays her hands on your chest. You feel a wrenching pain as your body heals much faster than is comfortable. It's hard to get used to this sensation. Thanks, I guess. Preach. Big preach on that. Where's my weirdness candle? So what's going on over here? So there's never not... Oh, it's the blacksmith. All right, we got to go to him first. Because the blacksmith is who we need. 
The blacksmith is like our first person. All right, I know what you do, and I also know what you do. enough yes oh thank you thank you so much cool we did it we get to talk to the blacksmith now hey buddy a song breaks through the slithering of the weirdness oh i have no hope no home no gold mine is but misty morning cold not long afterwards you come upon a man wearing a blacksmith's apron. You mean the blacksmith? Oi, traveler. Wanna buy a good anvil? Tis all I have, I'm afraid. Me home, you see, went poof. One minute there, next minute gone. I found myself here, with this lump of iron for company. I swear to God, it started talking to me not long ago. So what do you do? Do you, like, craft oh, stuff? No. I left that life behind quite a while ago. All I'm interested in these days are rune stones. I already know all that I need to know about them. Eh, I could use some more information on them. Yes, containers for the magic of giants. Even though you'll usually find them broken, they're extremely powerful. Ooh. You can use them to enhance your weapons or armor. They will influence your abilities in different ways. I figured. Also, when you find three of the same kind and rarity, you'll be able to fuse them together. This hey. will make them even more powerful. Here, let me give you some. You can try it later. Ooh. I'd say that since you know what you're looking for, you should be able to find more of them out there. By the way. I could use someone like you in my village. What else can you do with these runestones? Yeah, I could use you someone in the village. In your village. Well, you must first prove you can take care of yourself. Kill 10 bears and... Huh, just fooling for the sake. Say. What would I need tin bears for? Show me the way. Thank God. Awesome. We got the blacksmith. Cool. So he's going back that way. Pied Piper. Ah. Uh, are you like someone I need? I don't know. Whatever. I'll try to save you, dude. Hopefully, you're someone I need for the village. Hey, what's up? Oh. Perverted life force. Are you gonna ask to like look at my feet or something? Forgot I have an ultimate, y'all. That I could just beat people to death with. Something great from the wild. Hey, what's As you up? you walk carefully in the woods, a quick, lithe creature runs towards you. It takes you a moment to realize it's a human. He brandishes a short wooden stick, screaming and shouting in despair. Whoa, man. My children! I've seen what you've done to my children! What? What are you on about? Barbarian! Sacrilegious scum! What? You shouldn't have done that. What will I do without them? What are you talking you watch about? watch him, confused. He looks malnourished, as if he's had nothing to eat since he entered the weirdness. And you're sure that was a long, long time ago. I failed them. I couldn't protect them. I'm not worthy of it anymore. What are you... Going Turns on out about. the stick he tried to beat you with was an instrument, a flute. He sniffles. The flute is a strange one. Mysterious markings and blood cover its surface. Take it. It's your duty now. Uh, 
Why would I need a weird flute? You're completely insane. Why would I need a weird flute? He plays flute? a simple melody. Suddenly rats swarm all over you. You've seen enough of them already to know how this will end. Ask him to stop killing before he sent. I'll ask him. Why? They were my children. My lovely children. I haven't seen a single rat. Look. He plays a simple melody and the rats suddenly stop. Some sway from left to right as if dancing to the rhythm. You see? They would never hurt me. Okay, I'll take your instrument. Yeah, sure. What is it? Reduce damage of everyone. Can be used once per combat. Sure, I'll take Use it. it. Use it every time you see them. Play this every time you see my children. Promise me. Promise. I uh, yeah, sure, you man. To the stranger and leave him to his madness. I uh, sure. If I fight a rat, I'll use it. Thanks, dude. That's interesting. I'm assuming that's like only for this run that I get that. All right, turn on the turn on the candle, man. I don't want to fight you. I have eight health. Uh, boy, howdy. I'm gonna die. Can I go back to town? Can I, like, voluntarily go back to town and be like, hey, you know, it's been fun and all, but, uh, you know, I'm real hurt. Real hurt? I want to go home. Can I do that? Or is it, like, nope, you're out here, man. You made your choice. You're in the thick of it now. Yep, looks like we're in the thick of it, y'all. Boy, howdy. All right, well, before we go... Oh, it's dark. No, thank you. No, 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 thank No, no, thank No, can I go any other way? Can I please go literally any other way? It is not that. Can I please? I'll end this episode when we die because I feel like it's going to be soon. That legend. Oh, that's the golem. Nah, you, do I really want to fight the golem knowing damn well I'm gonna die? I mean, maybe I should. Pack of enemies, hanging tree. Wait, are you gonna make me fight this stuff to look at the hanging tree? Ah, uh, rude of you. Oh, I don't love that. do as much as I needed it to. Yep, can't use that again. Well, we had a good run. Uh, oh, God. Oh, no, it hurt so bad. Well, that was that run. Woof. Well, we know where the golem is, so I'm wondering if it plays the same area of the map every time. Uh, these cards and passives will be available now a thousand cuts. Whenever you play ten cards, draw one card, its energy cost is reduced by one. That's cool. Start of each turn, increase your damage by 5% until the end of combat. That's awesome. I really want that. Actually, in fact. Oh, we got the second villager. Cool. Although, the, uh, I, I really kind of thought that what's his name? The, um, the, you know, what is it? The Pied Piper would be more... All right, but I'm going to wrap it up here. Uh, thank you so much for watching. We're going to keep going down this rabbit hole. This may be a longer standing series. I haven't decided yet because I really like it. And uh, if you want to see more of the story of this, uh, let me know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to see more from me. And I will see you tomorrow night. So have a good night. Bye-bye.